hello guys in today's video i'm actually going to show you an easy way how to submit your tax returns online this always seems to be a very very difficult thing to do and we always rush at the last minute uh, in namibia we are now using ita as online submission we say goodbye to manual forms and you can now do this in the comfort of your own home so today the 30th of june 2021 namra has actually released a communication on the submission of tax, re tax returns so you can see there there is no extension guys so you have to do your thing as in today the exception is only available to those employees that are having problems with their companies and they'll have to email this the provided email address otherwise you have to submit your returns there's no excuse okay so let's just get started <laughs> Okay, so you're going to open your Google tab and then type in ITAS online. Okay, then you select e-service and then it will take you to this page. Here, you put in your username and your password, whatever you registered with. If you haven't registered, you need to register for that. If you forgot your password, you need to go to forget password and then they'll send your confirmation via your email and then you come and put it in. Then you log in. So it brings you to this page. You must click at return. So here, okay, so here you can see mine because I already submitted mine. So basically you go to returns, then you click my returns. Then you go to search your returns. Nah, and then it will show you the returns that is, uh, in, that is due. So it will give you the year, the one that you haven't submitted. It will show pending. So then you click on that one. I have submitted mine already, so you won't be able to see the pending part. So then you click that one. All right. You click on it. Once you click on it, it will, it will throw out the option where it says uh, submit returns. And you click there. The next step, that you, the next thing that you do actually is you must have already downloaded your payee 5, which you upload once you upload it most of the information will be filled in already okay we, here we just move on to this beautiful nice detail pamphlet which actually shows you how to do it okay in section a you actually just have your documents ready the pay five your set uh, tax certificates um study policies retirement annuity and so on. okay once you have those ready you move on to section b under section B, there are three schedules that you need to follow. Schedule 3, 17, and 24. Okay, here we are looking at schedule 3. So the only thing, once you have already submitted your, uploaded your, your, your pay 5 and your tax certificates already, then you come to schedule 2. The only, the only thing that you need to complete here is the enter the revenue code. Okay, you actually find this on the first page under print taxpayer certificate, which will be on your right corner. I'll put a clip here where you find it. The rest of the information on Schedule 3 you would actually be automatically uploaded already from your Pay 5. Okay, if not automatically filled in, then you get this on your Pay 5. You complete in the employee TIN and the period time as well. Okay, we move on to Schedule 17. Here, here you actually just confirm the information displayed on the system as how it appears on your Pay 5. If it corresponds, then you're good. You move on to the next section. If not, contact your employer as indicated. Also, here is where you complete other information relevant to you. Each person is different. So there will be sections where they will ask you to put in things for your car, loans and extra and so forth. Just fill in what is relevant to you. Okay, then we move on to schedule 24. Here, you only complete this if you're renting. So it will prompt you to answer if the house you're staying in is yours or not. If not, then you put in the details as required. Okay, we'd ask you to put in the owner of the house address. Just put in their name if you know their name and the address addresses if you know it as well. And then the uh, TIN number, just put in 0, 0.00 if you don't know it. Okay, once you're done with that, then you move on to section C. Here you just confirm that the information provided is correct and true. So what you're going to do is select declare. You, you select, uh, you tick there at that section there. You tick there. Then you scroll up on your right side, there's going to be a verification code that you need to enter. Once you enter that, then you just submit, then you submit, submit. <laughs> okay, you actually press submit. So if everything is correct, it will prompt you to say is everything correct, blah, blah, blah. Then you just confirm yes. 
If not, it will bring you down back to the page and then you have to correct whatever it prompts you to correct. Or if you see it's not going down, just come at the bottom of the page, then you see what it's saying, what the error is. So basically you are done. There after you're done, you go back. It will show you mine shows assessed. So it will give you that assessed option. It will say assessed. The status of your submission will be assessed. I'm not sure this is if this is the status that will be for everybody or maybe to be submitted for assessment or to be assessed, to be audited and so forth. The best part is always to submit your tax returns on time to avoid any penalties. So if you need any professional help, contact an accountant. I'm not an accountant. This is just my own experience of what I went through. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye. I love you.